I've compared 50 GPUs to find out which ones are the very best for mining flux and we're also going to do a giveaway in this video so stick around. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto or your personal information. Alright, so please be careful, use your common sense and don't let any of these imposters fool you. Alright, now back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here and I've tested every single kind of GPU that I have for mining flux and for the ones that I don't have I've scoured the internet to find out the hash rate and wattage for each of them and I've tried to gather as many sources as possible for each one of them so basically I've put together a massive spreadsheet of 50 different GPUs and we're gonna have a look at that today but before we get into that this video is sponsored by MinerPool.org, which means we're gonna do another giveaway in this video. So MinerPool.org is a mining pool for coins like Ravencoin, Zero, and of course Flux. And together with them, we are gonna give away 300 Flux split between three different winners. So stick around for later in the video where I'll tell you how you can enter to win in this giveaway. And also, if you wanna learn about the mining profitability of Flux, as well as how to mine Flux on Windows, then I'll leave a link to a video I made on just that up in the card there, as well as in the description of this video. So you can check that out after this video is over. Now, just quickly before we have a look at the spreadsheet of Flux mining GPUs, I just wanna say that the hash rates and wattages that I have listed in the spreadsheet are the most efficient ones that I could find for each GPU. So mining efficiency for those of you who might be new basically just means how much hash rate as in mining power do I get from the GPU per watt of electricity that it's using. So a GPU that pulls a lot of power and doesn't get a lot of hash rate has bad efficiency and a GPU that has high hash rate and only pulls a little bit of electricity has good efficiency. And the reason why I've done that is because as we're moving into a territory of mining maybe not being as profitable after ETH 2.0, having as efficient of a mining operation as possible will be crucial to getting the best possible profitability you can out of your GPUs. And I'll also show you an example of that as we're having a look at the spreadsheet as well. But with that out of the way, let's have a look at the spreadsheet. All right, so here we are on the computer and I have the spreadsheet open here. I'll leave a link to the spreadsheet in the description of this video so that you can access it yourself. And the thing you want to do, especially if you're watching this sometime in the future, is you want to go open it up, hit file, make a copy. And then what that means is that you can come in here and you can actually start to edit these numbers. So what you might want to do is, for example, here, I've listed the price for all the GPUs off of the current prices that I could find for them. Of course, these will change depending on where in the world you are and, you know, if GPU prices are still high or if they're low or whatever. So you can change all of these if you want. What you might also want to change is the electrical cost that you're paying, the price of a flux, which is going to be relevant for some of the calculations we do in the spreadsheet, as well as here, the flux per one kilo solution per day, which is basically how much flux uh, you mine per day um, with 1000 solutions per second, which solutions per second is how you measure the hash rate mining flux. And I've just got this number from today's what to mine number. So that is what we're using in the spreadsheet. You can go in and change that later if you want. But with that out of the way, let's actually have a look at the GPUs here. So as you can see, I wasn't exaggerating. I literally have 50 different GPUs listed here. And you can see the green ones are a, the NVIDIA ones and the red ones are of course the AMD ones. And we got just the standard stuff here. So the hash rate and power consumed uh, at the most efficient settings that I could find. So for example, one of my favorite GPUs is the RTX 3070. And the best efficiency I could find on my GPU when I was testing it was 53 and a half solutions per second at 130 watts for an efficiency of about 41.15%. So that is how that is calculated. And then you can also see here the amount of flux you can mine per day uh, on one of these GPUs. And then, of course, we get into some more of the calculated stuff out here. But just before then, we also have here the kilowatt hour per 24 hours, which is just how much, you know, electricity it's actually using in 24 hours and how, you know, how much that would show up on your electricity bill, basically. So for the 3070, for example, that's using 3.1 kilowatt hour per day, basically. So 
let's just have a look here and let's start by sorting this by just hash rate because that's always fun to see which ones are the actual most powerful GPUs. And we can see here that, I mean, it's no surprise, the 3090 is the most powerful GPU out now. So of course it's the most powerful on Flux 2, um, even at its most uh, power efficient setting. So that's getting around 32% efficiency, 97 solutions per second at uh, 304 watts. And then just closely after we have the 3080 Ti and the 2080 Ti. Uh, which has significantly better efficiency, but more on that later. Uh, we also have the regular 3080, the 3080 12GB, which had worse hash rate than the regular 3080 uh, at you know its most uh, power efficient settings and also significantly worse efficiency as well. So I just thought that was you know interesting to see and I can verify these numbers because these both of these are you know GPUs that I've tested myself and you guys know me. I, I tend to test the crap out of GPUs when I do uh, my GPU tests. So there you go. I actually have videos on both of these GPUs if you want to check those out. I guess search my channel for 3080 and they should show up. Um, yeah, then we can see the most powerful AMD GPU is here in, what would that be? One, two, three, four, five, sixth place, which is of course the RX 6900 XT, closely followed by the 6800 XT. And so the list goes on and on. but. Let's sort it again just by my sort order here. And let's have a look at efficiency instead. So efficiency, hash rate per watt. And we can see here that the actual most efficient GPU is the 2080 Ti, getting 42% efficiency, uh, giving you 94 solutions per second at 222 watts, which is amazingly good uh, on Flux. It is followed pretty closely by the 3070 at 53.5 solutions per second at 130 watts and the 2070 Super at 58 solutions at 141 watts. Really amazing top three there in terms of efficiency. And we can also see here, of course, the flux per 24 hours is going to be just comp the same as sorting by hash rate. The more hash rate you have, the more flux you're gonna make in 24 hours, right? But then, Let's instead sort this in a different way. So I have this column here called profit per one kilo solution per second. And basically, this is a different way of explaining and visualizing what efficiency is. So it basically means, what if you got a thousand solutions per second using this GPU? So for the 3090, for example, since that pulls around 100 solutions, right? That means if you had 10 3090s, which would give you 1,000 solutions per second, how much would you actually profit every day after you paying for your power cost? Um, which, you know, our power cost is up here at 10 cents. You can change that to whatever you're paying. And basically what you can see here is per day at the current flux price and the current flux, uh, you know, mining yield, a thousand solutions in 3090s would give you $20.84 per day. And why this differs between different GPUs is of course because some GPUs pull more power for the hash rate that they're getting. Again, that's the efficiency part. So you're getting the same hash rate, but they're pulling more power. So you're gonna have to pay more in terms of your electricity price. So let's sort by this. And of course, we want to sort it backwards to get the highest number on top. And then we can see again, this will basically be just like sorting by efficiency. Uh, but it's, like I said, a way of visualizing efficiency better. So you can see here, the most efficient GPU, the RTX 2080 Ti, is also the one that's going to bring home the most money every day because it's the most efficient when, you know, equalized for hash rate. So if you get a thousand solutions per second in you know, every GPU. And so since the 2080 Ti also does roughly 100 solutions per second, that is if you get 10 of them, right? And then in spot number two, we have the RTX 3070 again, but since that only gets about 50 solutions per second, to get a thousand solutions per second, you'd need to get 20 of those. So this number is if you get around 20 of those to get a thousand solutions per second. And I think this is a good visual example of why efficiency matters so much, because if we scroll down here, 
we can see something like the Vega 56 or the Vega 64. You know, the Vega 56 makes less than $10 a day after, you know, after paying your electricity cost. While the 2080 Ti is well over $22 a day, almost approaching $23 a day. And I want to visualize this more. So as we move into, you know, mining after ETH 2.0, what you know potentially will happen is mining profitability will be a lot lower so let's say that right now we're getting around 19 uh, flux per one uh, kilo solution per day let's say that goes down to half right and now you can see one kilo solution of 2080 ti's still making you almost nine dollars a day but if we go down here we can see starting to be some GPUs here that are actually losing money every day. So the Vega 56, for example, you're losing $5.34 per day. And as you can, of course, imagine, this becomes even more um, relevant if you're paying high electricity price. So let's say you're paying 20 cents in per kilowatt hour. So let's say you're paying 20 cents per kilowatt hour. Boom, now you can see, you know, we're still making uh, a profit mining on the 2080 Ti's at around $3.26 per day. But as you can see here, as efficiency starts to go down, I mean, there's a big portion of the list now that are gonna be losing you money if these are the numbers. So that is why efficiency is so important and why I have chosen to, you know, make this list based off of the most efficient settings I could find for each GPU. But Let's reset it to uh, today's numbers. So we have 10 cents per kilowatt hour at 19.42 and so on. Um, flux per one kilo solution per day. Because what we also need to consider here isn't just the efficiency, but also the actual price of the GPUs. So we've seen this already. To build a one kilo solution farm of 2080 Ti's, you know, you need 10 2080 Ti's that cost about $825 a piece right now on eBay. That's the price I could find. So the cost for the total, you know, a thousand solution farm will be about $8,776. And that is what we calculate here. And this is affected by, of course, how what price you put in the GPU price uh, column here. But we can see here in second place here, we have the 3070 where you need almost 20 of you know the 3070 to get a thousand solutions per second and at a price of eight hundred dollars per gpu we are of course you know approaching fifteen thousand dollars to get the same hash rate there so while the efficiency is very very similar they're both excellent in terms of efficiency the 2080 ti comes in at almost half the price um, just because you know it's a last gen gpu and they just go for a lot less uh, in terms of per hash rate than the 3070 so basically what you want to find is a gpu um, that is green on both of these as you can see i've kind of you know colored these columns they go from green to red um, in terms of good to bad right so let's have a look at this um, GPU price column instead and let's sort by that. So we want to sort it from cheapest to most expensive. And right now we can see the absolute cheapest thousand solution rig that we could buy is 1070s. And to get a thousand solutions when in 1070s, we just need to pay around $7,000. Now, of course, this is just for the GPUs because, you know, to get a thousand solutions in 1070s that's going to be a lot of gpus we need and you know with a lot of gpus you also need a lot of rigs so there's more to this price of course but what i think is so interesting is that in second place here we have again the 2080 ti so not only is it the very best one in terms of efficiency and therefore profit per uh, thousand solutions it's also the second best in terms of price per thousand solutions per second. So, I mean, there is a clear winner here, let's be honest. And I would say second place goes to the regular 2080. 
um, which comes in you know also very high in terms of efficiency and very low in terms of GPU price here right some other very notable ones is the 2070 super you can see a theme here with the 20 series GPUs the regular 2070 2060 super they're all very high both in terms of GPU price as well as efficiency and I think the best one in the 30 series is probably the 3070 um, it has extremely good efficiency but it does cost a little bit more than any of the 20 series GPUs do of course but then again you also have resale value which will probably be a bit higher on the 3070 so as I said I leave a link to this spreadsheet in the uh, description of this video so you can go check it out for yourself all right so here's how you can enter to possibly win in the giveaway sponsored by minerpool.org now the very first thing you need to do is leave a normal positive comment on this video mentioning the secret word which is kiwi the second step you need to do is in the pinned comment I will have posted a link to a google form where you need to fill out your youtube username as well as your flux address and the reason we need to do that is because youtube tends to automatically delete comments that have crypto addresses in them actually they kind of randomly delete comments even if they don't and i don't know and they let spam comments through it's a whole mess but yeah so you need to fill that google form in and the third step is that you need to actually go and mine flux on the minerpool.org pool for at least a couple of days using that same flux address that you put in the google form and that is it now you have two weeks to enter and so in a video that i'll film about two weeks from now i'm going to pick the three winners that are going to win 100 flux each and then i guess that video will be posted in a little bit over two and a half weeks from now or so so subscribe so you don't miss that if you found this video helpful then please give it one of these and if you really liked it you can now join the channel to help support what i do here it really does make a difference and it means a lot to me so thank you but what you gotta do now is you gotta click on that next video on the screen because this video is over you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate that but yeah go click on that next video and i'll see you there goodbye goodbye bye bye